How are you? I'm doing well. How are you, Kalak? Good. What are you up to? I'm looking for something. Do you need help? Yes, please. Not this. Um, here it is. What is it? It's a Kipmik, or a dog. He's just a puppy. His name is George. Hi, George. He's just a pup now, but he'll grow up to be a racing dog. Really? Racing? Like, meow. No. More like dog sled racing. Oh, that makes more sense. Isn't he a little small to pull a unyak or dog sled? For now. But Kip makes grow very quickly. How big do they get? He is a husky, so pretty big, but right now, he's just a little ball of cute. He is, isn't he? How are you? I'm doing well. You? I'm good. What are you doing? I'm trying to put a harness on George. Isn't he too small to pull a unakpia? He is right now, but he needs to learn how to deal with a harness. So when he grows up, he'll know what to do. Oh, can I help? Sure, keep him still while I put on the harness. Sure thing. Hold still now. George, hold still while Nana puts on the harness. Good boy, who's a good doggy? I'm going to guess it's George. or dog sled. To run a dog team, you'll need some kipmik, or dogs, and at least as many harnesses. They are well trained. To actually run the kipmiks, you'll need a brake to stop them from going without you.
Getting an uni upyak that matches your kit mix will help. Not too big or small, but just right. To put on the harness, pull it over the kit mix head and put the legs through the holes. Once the dogs are harnessed, they are ready to pull the uni up piak. Kit mix to go, you'll have to yell, Gee! and they'll be off to the races. To get the dogs to go left, yell cha, and to go right, yell chi. Feeding the kip mix is important so they can keep their strength up.
Sumner. You might have heard about old Sumner. I took that link to Sumner, and you know how much he gave me for that link? He gave me ten dollars. He said, what do you want with that money? I said, I want a new toboggan because he had lots of toboggans behind the store. Sumner had all this. The one here, you look after all the, all the, all the time. So I bought that toboggan behind there. That toboggan for an eight-foot toboggan was a hundred dollars. 
I gave him ten dollar down payment. I think I was 12 or 13 years old, and I had to pay him ten dollars a month for my dog. And I had my dog that put a little canvas on it. My mother fixed it for me. My dad fixed that this kind in the back. And I had my dog in. I traveled the Delta. I had eight foot toboggan, four dogs, and then finally I got another one. I traveled with five. I used to go to I used to go to Dada Green Tim's. I used to go to Sweeney's. I used to go to Boy Allen's. Sandy Neffy, way down in the Delta. Then I got across to Big Tim's. Isaac and Sadie's at Napoya with my dogs and I used to come home on a Friday afternoon. Su uh, Sunday afternoon, me and my, me and my five dogs. The dogs are friendly, right? You could talk to them, you could do anything, you could run with them, you could sit in the toboggan, or you could go outside and fix your harnesses if you have to. And that's what I used to do, I was traveling with my dogs when I was little kid. And one time in March like this I stopped at the camp and those two girls were there and they said you should help us so I went in the Hollywood with them. We got back late in the afternoon, by then it was too late to come home on Sunday so I stayed there. On Monday morning you know at CBC, and the radio at noon hour I was listening to the messages and the message said to Jerry Allen out in the Delta, you don't seem to be making any money trapping muskrat might be a good idea to come home and go back to school. Love from mom. So I looked up my dogs, I told those girls, oh, I better get going, I guess. So I looked up my dogs, I went home and I went back to school. I didn't have any muskrat. I couldn't let them all the trap trap that day. Only my dad and my mom. Yeah, I just drive my dogs. And I had a dog kit and a sled. Very similar to this one. This is made out of the, the jar from the from the caribou, eh? but we used to have wooden ones. Eh? You see those wooden ones, eh? you use them, yeah. Sled and the dog team, and that's what they used to do. Dog sled. Unak biak. 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 Unak bi